All right, so let's see. Let's just make sure this is all working well. All right, looks good. We are streaming, we are recording. Welcome everybody to the Christopher Moonlight first ever Twitch streaming tutorial. Actually, this is gonna be an overview. So we're going to be getting quite scholarly here in the world of of how Christopher Moonlight puts together his wonderful works of art. Welcome to class. This is an overview. Um, anyway, yeah, sorry about that. No, I'm not sorry. You know what? I like doing voices and accents, so you're going to have to put up with a lot of that. So what are we looking at today? Well, Adobe Premiere. I happen to be uh, finishing up editing and doing the visual effects on my first feature film, The Quantum Terror. So uh, we're going to be learning a bit about how I'm editing it. There's no, uh, what would you call it, uh, magic bullet system of editing. Everybody edits a bit differently. Uh, I was just talking to a friend of mine, Nigel, who edited Eyes Wide Shut, and he said to me, hey, I'm I've only learned about half of it, maybe less. So anyway, uh, hopefully I can do Nigel proud here. We have uh, the quantum terror. And uh, anyway, this is going to be editing. Look at this. Yeah, well, you're actually Kristen Koschel, actress playing uh, character. But anyway, so what do we have here? You notice this? flickering of water like they're standing in water that's uh, an effect that I created using both practical effects and uh, some after effects actually no I think I did that as blend mode in Premiere so I'm gonna be talking about tricks like that making it look like your your sets and all of that are ooh, that's spooky um, much more than you have a budget for we're definitely gonna be Going into the uh, realm of low budget filmmaking, here's uh, something else that you might be interested in. We're gonna be creating monsters using practical effects and after effects. Gonna be doing a lot of compositing stuff. If you're on a budget, it's great to learn how to composite. You don't have to become a master at it. If you're clever with your practical effects and your special effects, then you're gonna do uh, just fine. But look at this, what do we have here? So. You know, that's what uh, that's what I'm dealing with there. You know, just a little thing I made and put against the green screen, and then we turned it into this. And then we're going to composite that together into some nasty creature. Ew. Whoa. Look at that creature. Whoa. It is disgusting. <laughs> so, uh, what else? Well, let me show you a few things here. Let, check this out, okay? This is, uh, you know, I'm not always going to be just showing you my screen. We're going to be doing some practical effects. This is a practical effects in the work that I created in my home, just using some Sculpey, uh, kit bashing some stuff, finding some resources like springs, fishing line, latex. Come on, look at that thing. It's disgusting. It's not even done yet. We painted it up and uh, made it look awesome. Thanks to Jenna Green, by the way who uh, is an amazing practical effects artist herself. Look at that guy. Look at that. Anyway, okay, so what else do we got? Let me, let me take you through some of these other things. I opened up some folders so I could show you a few different things. You know, uh, here's, look at that. Actor Malcolm McDowell. Yes, I got to do some VFX around footage shot of him playing Mr. Electrico in the never released documentary about Ray Bradbury called Live Forever, the Ray Bradbury Odyssey. I'm gonna show you how I took this footage and turned it into this footage. So again, using Photoshop, After Effects, and uh, some practical effects. You see the silhouette of that uh, Ferris wheel spinning around that was uh, commissioned uh, from the production. Uh, my friend Dave Grave built it. 
So you'll learn a bit about him. I still like this effect. Let's see, do I have any more of that? Where is that? Plenty of Malcolm McDowell, plenty of the green screen footage. Uh, here is some of that Ferris wheel built by Dave Grave. Ugh, look at that horrible interlaced footage. Disgusting. Tell you, interlaced footage. Yeah, we'll talk about that too, I guess. All right, what else do we got here? Oh, here's a favorite stop motion composite effect done for Girl in the Window. Getting a bit of a hang up there. That's yeah, all right. So, you want to learn how to do this? I'm going to show you. You're going to be watching me create these things for my own film projects, and I'm going to be taking you through it. You can ask questions because we have, let's see, this little chat box thing. So, whoa, hey, wait, no, let's come back to this. All right. Hey, what's this now? Photoshop is uh something hey I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna not be humble here for a moment i'm pretty good at it uh i took this photograph of demetrius polito like a publicity still for uh the quantum terror which we're going to be going through and uh i made it look nice shot this on a 50 millimeter lens in my garage when i lived in texas against uh some of the set this concrete wall is actually made out of styrofoam uh, and we painted it up, Jenna Green and I, to look uh, like it is a concrete tunnel. But uh, I'm just going to show you. Let's get rid of all these layers. And that's what the image looked like to start. We just use a flat color profile. Uh, color pro bleh, I can't tell. Sometimes I lose my words and I have to start again. And, you know, y you can deal with that, right? We're all adults here. Well, maybe not. Maybe you're a kid. And that's fine, too. I'm going to try and keep this uh, channel kid-friendly. Why not? You know, I don't need to see, say, cuss words or, uh, you know, show inappropriate content to uh, teach you guys. And I hope, uh, hey, you know what, too? Some of you may be watching this and know more than me. So, you know, there's that little comment uh, chat box he thing here. I'm still getting used to Twitch, but I'm sure I'll become good at it. You know, you can leave a comment and say, uh, you know, hey, I know a better way to do this. Or ask, hey, can you show me how to do this? Or, you know, so I, I appreciate your input too. Anyway, if you're watching this on YouTube, and you probably are because I don't have any Twitch followers yet, uh, follow me on Twitch if you want to interact with me live. And if you're watching this on YouTube, which I will post it on after, uh, you know, you can leave questions in the comments and I will try and answer them right now but uh, let me just show you what I did here really quick we'll click on each layer uh, what's going on here oh you can just see like watch his face about right there okay when I click that it's a little highlight so, logo alright and shadows I'm gonna be showing you how to paint in and enhance your own lighting uh, so if you use a flat color profile in your camera like cine style which is which is what I'm using on my 7D, then you are given some leeway to uh, mess with the colors. Ooh, that's garish. Why did I do that? Oh, because when I lay that on top of it and that on top of it, it looks much better. So now we have this kind of nice uh, artificial lighting painted in. Well, it's more of an enhancement of the lighting that I did when I set up the photograph. Uh, but by using that flat color profile, we were able to um, create something that looks a lot nicer. I like this shot, you know, he's meant to be kind of a an unusual character, but I think this is kind of like a an underground gothic GQ chic going on here. Demetrius is a really great actor, uh, and he's also, I think, you know, I'm just saying this is a straight man, but I can say he's a handsome guy, so it's a pleasure to be able to kind of work with him in this kind of GQ underground <laughs> Lovecraftian chic. Uh, not going to save that. I've got everything I want to save. Okay, what's this? This is a page from... I'm working, I have been working on a book, and I haven't been able to get to it for a while. Uh, the Making of Harbinger Down, which is directed by Alec Gillis, who is now uh, my boss. He wasn't my boss at the time when I agreed to do this book. But I've been doing social media for him and his partner, Tom Woodruff Jr., at uh, Amalgamated Dynamics Incorporated. Uh, AKA Studio ADI for a while. 
It's an amazing job. I'm doing social media for them um, and a bit of video editing. But I'm also working on this book highlighting the making of Alex movie Harbinger Down starring Lance Hendrickson and Camille Balsamo. It was on Netflix for a while. It isn't anymore, but you can still find it on Amazon um, as well as um, what's the other one? iTunes. It's on there. And if you go to uh, studioadi.bigcartel.com uh, you can order a print of this creature here uh, and it comes with a special gift when you order the print rhymes with ooble. Um but anyway I'm not here to plug Studio ADI today I'm here to plug me and what I'm gonna be doing so this is another Photoshop tutorial that I will be uh, taking you through again I'm pretty good with Photoshop so what did I do here that you know I did this page layout in Photoshop uh, there's another program for page layout called InDesign. I don't use it, um, not because I don't think it's a good program. I think it's a very good program. I just don't know how to use it, so I stuck with Photoshop. Stick with what I know, and that's a big part of uh, this. It's going to be the big takeaway from <laughs> watching me is doing what you can with what you have and what you know. It's always good to learn new things, but sometimes when you're in a crunch, you know, you just got to do it the way that your resources provide for you. So what's going on here? All right, this lovely lady here uh, on this page. Again, they shot uh, photos of her, and look at that. That's what the original photo looked like there. And it's a good photo. It's a good photo. Don't say it's a rotten brain. Uh... Where is her brain, by the way? It's not there. Someone took it out and replaced it with a horrible mouth. So, I mean, it's a good photo. We want to spruce it up. We want to create, you know, we put in some lighting enhancement and some color enhancement. So let me just kind of click through here really quick so you can see. As I click through, I added some highlights. I added some shadows. I, what's this? I sharpened the image. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really easy. I'm not going to show you how to do it right now, but as we go through Photoshop tutorials, I'm going to show you how to do it. What's this? Oh, it's kind of subtle to see. Look, watch around the eye here. Say, just enhance the highlight in the eyes. And then we did some color correction. Kind of enhance the colors you can see. Makes a big difference. It prettys up the image. You're going to find that see what else do we have here that's that one there we go let's take a look at this one as well let's just click through those and see what I did whoa maybe I should try that again there we go that's what the original image looked like and look it's kinda dark not very dynamic it's a cool photo But uh, yeah, we brightened it up, we sharpened it up, we enhanced the colors, and now it looks much more prettiful. There's so much I'm looking forward to showing you guys. And by the way, I'm not just going to be showing you Photoshop tutorials, I'm going to be showing you, uh, I'm going to be using this, this webcam to show you how I create practical effects. You guys want to learn how to do tentacle mechanisms on a very low budget. I'm going to show you how to do that with like household materials, build monsters. I'm going to take you through how we did miniatures. Uh, you know, those, what else? What do we got here? This I showed you guys all this stuff. There's so much I'm going to show you guys uh, in terms of just creating awesome content. So, uh, again look at this well, I'm just gonna show you this too. watch this this is pretty cool that isn't actually effect an effect that is uh, some live footage of a th of a thunderstorm heading for my house that I captured we just created this kind of David Lynch surrealist transition in our film using footage that I shot uh, anytime you get an opportunity to shoot something grab your camera and shoot it that's why I love you know I mean camera rentals are great but having a camera you know something comes up 
And here's a miniature, kind of a, an homage to David Lynch. We did this flooding tunnel. Um, and, uh, and I think it looks pretty good, but we're gonna enhance it with color correction. And then here's our set again. Look at this, I'm gonna click this away. We're going to add some. Uh, we're going to add some After Effects color correct color correction to this. Anyway, you guys get the idea. There's so much uh, that I'm excited to show you, and uh, you know we're going to uh, go through it together. Uh, I'm going to be on. I'm going to try and be on about three times a week and uh, it's going to help me too. It's going to help me get this stuff done and it's going to help me have a greater understanding of uh, what I'm doing and uh, you know help me stay disciplined, have a schedule and uh, you know for those of you who are my Indiegogo supporters for the Quantum Terror you'll get to see that yes I have been working on this film. It's been a boatload of work. <laughs> Big boatload of work more work than I ever imagined it being uh, but I want to thank everyone who's been supportive also uh, there is down there there is a donate button for those of you who feel like you're benefiting from my tutorials and think that you can uh, help me out so I can keep going with this uh, because the less I have to worry about finances the more time I can dedicate to bringing you guys quality tutorials so again we're going to be going over uh, editing visual effects compositing in both after effects and photoshop we're going to be going over pre-production stuff like creating production art uh planning shoots uh i may even figure out a way to do a bit of writing or talk about writing uh we're also going to be doing uh you know hopefully i can bring you some on-set stuff because i'm going to be shooting more material uh you're going to join me for builds for drawing storyboards i'm going to show you guys how to draw a bit too uh, I mean, I, I'm kind of a jack of all trades, master of none, I admit, but if you want to do independent filmmaking, production, anything, I'm going to help you guys understand what it is about the job that will uh, make you valuable on a set, whether it be your own production or somebody else's. Uh, also, um, going back to YouTube I have a YouTube channel just uh, look up Christopher Moonlight or I think it might be under Moonlight Art Magazine uh, but I have shows on there I'm, I'm gonna be podcasting uh, about independent filmmaking and I also have a podcast called The Practical People uh, where I interview practical effects artists through the industry I've interviewed Matt Winston son of Stan Winston makeup effects group several times uh, Shannon Shea um, Odd Studios worked on Alien Covenant. Um, there's been a lot. Neville Page, who's a judge on Face Off. Uh, hi, Neville. Uh, all really nice people. Go listen to those interviews. You'll learn a lot. Um, I also have more tutorials on there. And again, I'll be posting all of my Twitch live streams to uh, those uh, to that channel. So anyway. Uh, I hope this is an informative, a good introduction. Bear with me. The first few casts are going to be probably a little sloppy because I'm still learning all of this interface. But I want you guys uh, to know that I am going to be really working hard to make sure that this is, uh, you know, turns into a quality production, and uh, we can all have some fun together. You guys can interact with me, and yeah, that's it. So thanks very much, you guys. Uh, I will be back soon with more live streams.